All right, everyone. Welcome to the stream. My name is Dante. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be playing Brass Birmingham Solo versus the Matoma deck. Just printing out a total of uh, 22 cards. This one makes 23, but it's really just a little cover and the other side shows some tiebreaker stuff in the rules, but I've already created my Automa deck here. I will be purple. My Matoma will be yellow, or I might just start saying the AI. I am playing. I played against them once just to get the rules down. So I played on easy mode. Got a really good win on them, but you know, just trying to learn how those cards work. So now I put it up on medium level, and all that does is it removes some tiles from his main board, so he doesn't have as many factories or industries. On some of them, he's already started on level twos. He's skipping out. These are all the ones I took out for his. Yeah, he's already a. Uh, He's going to be skipping out on just and just trying to go for bigger points. Um, in this Maltoma, I'm always going to go first no matter what. You can play a variant where you can keep track of how much money he spends, but for now, I'm just trying to keep it somewhat easy until I really get used to him. So I don't have to keep track of any money. It's just always going to go back and forth. I'm always going to be first player each round no matter how much I spend. And all I do is just keep track of his victory points. He's always assumed to have money, but I do have to keep track of him using iron and coal to make sure that he uses it properly and he can actually link to places. And all right, so I'm gonna start with drawing my first eight cards. So that's seven. So my deck is just a deck of 19 cards. To simulate, I have my half of the deck, like if we were playing two player, but then minus one to, because in the regular rules you have to have your, you draw one more to, as a discard pile, but all you do is just take one out, it's the same effect. All right, let's see here. I have three industry cards and some location cards. Those what I'm working with in the beginning. I got Ironworks, the coal, and I don't know all the names yet, so if I mess them up, I'm sorry. But still learning this game. I got it not too long ago. I only have a couple of plays under my belt, but so far I can see myself just really loving it. And uh, the brewery. Let's see, location wise. Got a couple for War Warcester. I don't know how you say it, but I know I'm gonna butcher all these too. Colebrookdale, Nuneaton, and Stafford. So just like the regular game for the first round. I only do one action, and the Matoma does a little special action that I'm going to have to look up again when I do it. So, for my selling spots up here in the left side of the board at Shrewsbury, this merchant will take all three buildings. If I go there and use his barrel, I'll get four points. And Gloucester. He takes, what is this, uh, manufacturing, I believe. Uh, and then we have the cotton mill at Oxford. So this barrel, he lets me develop one step. And then this one lets me get my income up to, to two points. Since I don't have anything on the board, I can go anywhere I want. Hmm.
maybe go big on the manufacturing crates here. Be easy to get here. But maybe I want to take this whole area and just make manufacturing and cotton mills. Maybe I'll just start with putting out some links and trying to take stuff. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to see what happens if I stay on the left side. So I'm going to spend the right side cards. So. I spend Nanutin for three, so I can put a canal link. Well, I'm gonna do a network action right here. So I can start branching out there already. So that's my first move. I'll draw my one card. Got a ironworks. Now for the Matoma, just for his first, okay, first turn of the game, uh, for his deck, I look at the top left here, and it's either going to say draw or develop. This one says draw, so what I'm going to do is draw the first Automa card and execute the build action shown, so the one I... The one I drew is trying to build the pottery at Stafford. It's a heck of a start. It wouldn't work in a regular game because you start with 17 money and then you'd have to pay money for the iron. But he's a Matoma, so he's special. So Stafford is way up here. Good luck trying to make that one work. So that's his one action. And he does spend one iron to do that. Okay. So I spent my three monies. This card gets discarded. So now we're going into the two actions per round now. So I kind of just want to build a bunch of links just to set myself up. So I think I might do that. I'm going to play a Stafford card with three money. Start linking up down here. And then... I don't need two of these, the Worcester one. I'm gonna make some change for myself real quick. And then so for another three bucks. Put this canal. So now if I want to build on this brewery, I can and it'll only be for myself. Alright, then I'm going to draw two cards. My income's zero right now, so I'm just kinda ignoring that, not really mentioning it, but the Automa's turn, his first of two actions, it looks like he's going to try to build. So if the iron, yeah, if the lowest iron was four at the four plus marker for price, which over here you can kind of see it's just at the two plus. Then he would try to build this because he's trying to build an ironworks and then of course sell it right back so he can flip it over as quickly as possible. But since he can't, we go to the next one. So at Nun Eaton, he's gonna try to build a uh, brewery. Which where is this? so that one's right there. Um and for his brewery he can he can do it because 
he does he doesn't need to spend a coal or if you have to spend a coal and if you can't make a connection then you're gonna have to well do just do something else so he builds a brewery up here puts one of his barrels on it and for his second action so for the Matoma second action then you look at the next card on the back side so I need the whole deck so I don't reveal the next one so he would try to sell if he could if he's linked up to a merchant but he can't if he was missing beer because of it he, he would try to make a brewery or if he was one link short to the merchant he would create that link but he doesn't have a he does have his pottery place up here that he built that he could try to sell but he doesn't have enough links to uh, get to where he needs to so now you look for his develop if there's any iron in this case it shows two minus that's a uh, two or less then he'll develop he'll get rid of those cubes and spend and get three victory points total so in this case we have one that is in the two or less so that means he's just developing once so he'll take that one off and he will get three points so now i'm losing the game and then that card just stays there so that's his second action so he he built a brewery he developed now it's the end of that round so i can put this my six money back get rid of these two cards i already drew back up my income still zero so now on to next round So let me get this. Uh, well, if I build an ironworks now, I'll completely refill the market. And I can build an ironworks in Cole Brook, Cole Brookdale because it is my network. So I think I might do that. So I'm going to spend this iron card. It's going to cost me five dollars ooh actually so when I put the iron down it's gonna use it right away and then it's gonna flip right away giving me three income so I'm gonna do that as my second action but as my first action um, I'll play a cold Brookdale I'm gonna take a loan and go one, two, three, and get 30 pounds. I'm just gonna say bucks. I know it's, I shouldn't, I should use, you know, what were they using, sterling pounds or something, but I'm just gonna say bucks. It's easier for me, that's what I'm used to. So the first action is to get a loan. The second action, is to put an iron ironworks down so it costs five if I had coal on the board that I was linked to I could use it but since I don't I'm gonna since I'm gonna put it over here all right here, I'll just do it so out of the three spots I have to pick the one that's not like doubled up with something so Okay, so for yeah, for the one coal, there's one in the market for a dollar, which I am connected to. So I'll use that coal, not to spend an extra dollar. And then the four iron that would go on the ironworks would instead go over to the market. So the first two are two dollars each, and the next two are one dollar each. So it's two, four, five. I get six bucks out of it, which is not too bad. And because I flipped this, you can see I'm getting three income at the end of the canal area. I'll get three points, and it'll be a link uh, to help my my links, my network. But that I just negated that um, the loan I just took 
Why am I going blank on it? So I think that's, if you if you can, that's probably the best thing you can do is if you're going to take a loan, I see a lot of people or I've seen videos online where they'll take a loan the very first turn, but then you're paying $3 of it and they don't even use that all the money right away. I feel like you should just wait till you can negate that three that you just lost with something like that. Then you're not paying anything uh, out of the loan that you just got. But anyways, so I did that. I'm back at zero income. So I have to draw two cards. A Tamworth location and a brewery. All right. The, I don't know if this will fit both cards. Eh. Got a bright light there. So for the Maltoma's turn, I'm going to flip this one over. So the first thing he tries to do is build a brewery at either the South or North Farm Brewery. He isn't, it's not part of his, uh, network and you can't even link to it that's what that's saying it if all he needs to do is link to it then he'll try to build it but he can't so then he'll go to the next one and at stafford he would want to build a brewery but the thing is he's right up here he's already built his pottery so he can't do that so then he goes to the next action which is from stafford he wants to build a link and then there's a whole bunch of little tiebreakers for placing the link for Automa. So I just go through them real quick. It says he'll link to a city that is already part of the Automa, but since the two cities around him aren't part of his network, that doesn't matter. Um, then he'll link to the city with the most industry tiles no matter who the owner is but they're both blank then it will look for the city with the most free spaces and they're both two uh, if none of these rules determine a unique link to build start from the city start from above the city which is going to be stone and then go around clockwise and build in the first eligible connection you reach so he will add a one of his links right there so I don't think that's gonna help him at all try to sell this thing all right so that was his first action so now for his second action I'm looking at the back of this card and he would try to sell which right now the only thing he could sell would be his the uh, the pottery he has out but he's not connected He's not going the right way. It's not because he's missing beer. It's not because he's missing one link. So he'll go to develop. When develop says zero, when you're looking at iron, at the moment where the iron cost is one, it would only be zero if either myself or the the AI had an iron works out that had iron because then it's free. So since it's not free, he can't develop and get his three points. So then he'll try to network again. Now when you network again, you look at whichever place he previously messed with, like building or they did the networking, which was Stafford. So then he's actually going to place that second network link going south because that's the only other available one. So now it's looking a little scary because if he can make this connection going down to there, then he gets to sell the pottery. That's big points because if he flips it, that's 10 points for him at the end of this round. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to try to help him out because he, he, he has to make two more links to make that happen. Okay, so that was his two turns. So now my monies will go away. These two cards are gone. Make sure I drew back up to eight, which I did. My income is still zero, but I do have a lot more money because of the loan I just took. So it gave me some options. 
first. Let me just get this out of the way. I'm linked to the brewery here. So I'm going to play one of my beer cards. The level one brewery cost me five bucks and an orange cube slash or an iron. There's none on the board, so from the market it cost an extra an extra one, and then I remove one of these. So then I can take that little farm spot and put one barrel there. Now as my second action. Hmm. Doug, no, Worcester, Colesdale. Okay, so I'm gonna keep Worcester. I will spend this. No, no, no. I'll spend this one. Colebrookdale. Since I already built there, I can't build a, a second building in this in this first era you can only do one per city and why I just go blank on one of okay I'm gonna develop that's what I meant so I'm gonna develop two buildings take two over here so that's gonna cost me three total one for level one one for level two and what direction do I okay I'm gonna take two level one cotton mills out I still have another level one so I might end up building that over here down at a uh, Worcester yeah okay where where okay Autumn's turn do I need to draw up I get a coal mine or coal and then a Coventry Autumn's turn let me move his cards over so you can see so I'm gonna flip over a new card if the price of iron is one or more which it is because it's currently at two then first he's gonna look at Walsall 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 I don't know but um and he wants to build a ironworks so where is Walsall that is right in the middle right by Birmingham right there so he'll take a ironworks, pop that there. That one gets four iron, but three of these will go to the market. He doesn't deal with money, so he doesn't collect that, but he's one iron away from flipping that. Uh, oh, actually I just realized so to build the iron he needs uh coal which he doesn't have access to coming from there so this link right here in the parentheses that means if he needed to link that city up to somewhere so he can get coal first he would do that but everything around him in Walsall wouldn't work he can look at these other two though there's a coventry which would not work and then Dudley which would work so okay so it's still gonna work he's just gonna move it over but he does need to I'm gonna move these cards he does need to create a link because then he can link to my network here So he'll pop that right there. So those are actually his two actions. Normally you look at the second card for the action, but 
Oh, and then he has to use one coal also. Um, but he's able to connect to mine, so that way he can get the coal from this, from Shrewsbury Market. Okay, so now I can put this money up. Sorry. And back to my turn. Oh man, so. For, let's build some more stuff. For Warchester. Twelve dollars. I can put this. I need like a breakdown of these building names. Ah, uh, the Cotton Mill. Now I've unlocked my level twos. Um, so I'm not worried about him taking that barrel just yet. I wonder if I should just build more links. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Tamworth card for three dollars. Do a network action to this spot right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to draw my two cards. Got Wolverhampton and another brewery. So AI's turn. He is, if the iron, or no, yeah, if the iron was three or more, which is not, it's actually at zero because there is one cube on the board, so that makes it free, then he would try to do this action, build an ironworks, but since there's no demand for it, it makes sense that he's not going to do it, so now he's going to look at Walsall, and he wants to build a brewery there, no one's built there, so he can do that. So he's got a level two brewery that he's gonna pop right there. He does have to spend the three money, but he does have to use one iron, which makes sense. I mean, it's kind of crazy how this deck of cards work. So he's gonna flip that, his own iron spot. I don't need to move any income for him, so it makes it easy. Now, so that was one action off this one. And then the second action is going to be, he'll try to sell. Oh, I forgot to put the one beer barrel on his brewery. The only thing he can sell is the pottery, but he's still not linked to go sell it. He's two links away to do it. Uh, it's not because he's short on beer. Since he's two links away, he can't build that link. So now I'm looking at if iron is one or less, which it is. It's one here. Then he's going to develop. So he's going to take two of those. And he's going to get three victory points. One, two, three. So now he's at six. So that was his second action. Back to me. I need to... You get busy. Whoops, I didn't get rid of these monies. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do two routes and then that way I can start then my routes will be done, I can start building like crazy. So I do Coventry. 
I know I'm use, I'm gonna be spending six bucks total, so I'm just gonna put the six there. I just need to discard the two cards. Get rid of one of these beer ones, so make this connection here and that one right there. Then I can start selling next turn. Draw up to two. So there's no more draw piles. So I only have four more rounds to go. And that will be the end of the canal. <clears throat> Sorry. The canal era. For the Matoma. First he's going to look at War Chester. Which is right there. Right there. Right there. Double pointing. Um. He wants to build there, and since he can, well, yeah, he, because of all the networking I've been doing, he can reach the uh, coal he might need. But in this case, it doesn't matter because his level one building only requires money, so he's going to take that spot. So that was one action. Oh, I don't like where this is going already. And then for a second action, he's going to sell. So he is going to sell. So I believe he's going to target the one that gives him the victory point. So he'll go up here and he'll use the merchant's barrel and get one, two, three, four victory points. This will flip over. Great. Good job, AI. All right, so that's the end of that round. My income is still zero. I need to get busy with the uh, up in my income before <laughs> this this era is over. Okay, so let's. If I can build one thing and then sell two things, that'd be pretty nice. Can do Birmingham. Kindermeister, no, that's too far. Hmm. I'm not leaving. Uh, if I was in Birmingham, that'd be nice. I mean, I could still do it. I don't like that this guy might just build and then sell. He has plenty of beer around. Since I'm providing all the networking, he can just steal it away from me. Just like in a regular two-player game, you can use your opponents, the networking skills they put if you want to work more on buildings. Use their links. So, Burden on Trent, way up there. Wolverhampton, I'm not linked to. Birmingham, I'm not linked to. And of course, for industry cars, I don't have. I actually, I mean. Yeah, what the heck. I, so, so, first, I'm going to spend five for. The the coal mine is just a level one. We'll go there. It gets two coal, and since I'm linked to the trading areas, I can refill the market. So that gives me three bucks. And then this will flip right away, increasing my money up four levels. And then I'm going to do a sell action with this brewery card. Actually, this um, just in case, this pottery card. And I'm gonna use my own beer, even though this one will give me plus two. Income, if I use my own beer, it'll give me 
four extra and give me points for links. Because if I don't use it, then it's just going to disappear after this canal phase. So I use this beer. Both of these flip over. So total, I'm getting nine steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now my income is seven. So I don't have any cards to draw. So now the Matoma goes. The iron is, it costs two. So this won't trigger because he's looking at for three plus. Now he's going to try to build a coal mine first you look at none eaten but he already has a building there then he's gonna look at burden on Trent there isn't one there so he wants to build a coal mine and make a link so we'll put a little two coal mine out on bird on Trent, and then he wants to link. Okay, so all the tiebreakers are gonna come in again. So let me just go through the list real quick. He'll link to a city that is already part of his network. So actually, since he has this link already, that one is part of his network. Oh, but that's a, only a rail track, so I can't do that. Oh, okay. Never mind. There's a river right here, so. That'll work there. So that was just two actions. So now back to me. I'm actually making a little bit of money now. I'm making seven. Three more rounds before I have to do the, or we we start over into the railroad era. So I need to maximize my points here. If I can put something in Redditch, oh man, I'm gonna have to get a wild card. Maybe put down like a crate. Yeah, cause that's a double link too. So I'm going to spend one, two, so those three to get the two wild cards. And then I'm gonna spend the one wild card for how much does it cost? Eight. And then iron the iron right now is or the coal is a price of one per. So I can put that one there. And that's it for my turn right now. Matoma. The iron is at price two plus. It is at two. So he wants to build an iron works. First he's looking at Coventry. He's not there, so he can do that. And to build the level of iron that he wants to build, which is level three building, he does need a coal connection, which but at the moment, even if he adds one link, it won't work. So he can't do this action. Now we can look at Colebrookdale to see if that'll happen. So Colebrookdale will because that's up here. I'm already connected to the, the trading area. So that'll be a legit spot for him. So this ironwork gets, or uh, yeah, ironworks gets five, but two of them will go in the market. So he still has three on there. So now is his second action. Let's see, what can he do? He still hasn't sold his pottery. It's not because of beer. He's still two links away. 
Yeah, two links away, so we won't be able to do that. Iron is two or less because that it's actually at zero because he has his on the board. So he's going to develop and take, so he takes two of these off and gets himself three victory points. So that's his second action. Ooh, man. Okay. I wonder if I can do a double. Uh, I only have four dollars. It's a while we go up here. Mm, tough decisions. So if I sell that crate can go there. Um like I can set myself up for Birmingham to Should I take another loan? No need for ironworks, no need for that. Lots of decisions. So that level two. Okay, I think, I, yeah, I'm just gonna take a loan, so. This card for a loan, so I have to go by three money steps. So one, two, three. Take 30 out. And then for my second action, we're gonna build in Birmingham. Ooh, I need a I need to create that link first. So I play this coal there. And for three bucks, just connect this right here. All right, Maltoma. Let's build a manufacturer's industry. First, looking at Wolverhampton. Which is right there. He doesn't have a building. And because he can build a link. So that way he can. Well actually this one won't matter. Because he's at level 2. And he doesn't need coal. So he's not forced to make a link. So he's just going to build that level 2. Uh, what I said was. Manufacturer. There. And then for his second action, he'll try to sell. So he has two buildings they could sell, but he's still not linked up. So for his second action, it looks like he'll create this link here. Because now it branches all the way over here. He can't sell though, he's just creating the link. So that's my cue to use that beer first. <laughs> and luckily I'm always going first. Um, so this money will go away, these cards go away. Alright, so I should just be building and then selling. So for Birmingham, I'm going to spend. 14. There's no coal on the board. So I'm going to spend one more to get one from the market. And put this level two uh, cotton mill in Birmingham. And that'll be nice because I'll stay there. 
And then for my second action, I'm using that wall location, but just to sell, I'm gonna sell two buildings. So the first one will be this level one uh, manufacturer industry going to here so I use their beer barrel so I'm just gonna get my five income going up one two three four five and the beer I use from the manufacturer will let me yeah well let me develop one and I believe it's without using iron so I want to develop the cotton mill so now my level three is revealed now my second cell on that same action will be this cotton mill. I'll flip that over using this beer barrel. So my income is going to go to four plus two more for the bonus. So six total. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's my two actions. So now the Matoma still needs to finish his two. Since he's second player, he wants to build a cotton mill in Tamworth which right now he doesn't have anything in and is he able to make oh yeah yeah he can do a connection does he need uh... well he doesn't need coal for his level one building so he'll take one of those spots and then for his second action I'm looking at the back of the next card so let's see if we can sell. Um, yep, so he has this manufacturer industry that's connected all the way to this guy down here. But since I took the beer, he has to use his own. Uh, there's a level one and a level two. I'm pretty sure he'll take the level one because it's going to go away anyway. So those two will flip. Income doesn't matter. It's just he's just about getting the points on him. Um, and that's the end of our action. So I still take my money. So I'm going to get ten. I'm going to put this money back. This wild card will go up here. So now, now I have to calculate the points for the canal era. So I'm at zero points. I haven't gotten any bonuses or anything. So I'm starting from scratch. So first I'm going to count up all my links. So this link right here is giving me one, two, three points. Right here, one, two, three. This one right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty good. Right here, four points. Down here, another four points. Four points. One, two, three, four. So that's it with just my links, which is putting me at 28 points. So I'm up here. Now I need to count his links. So he has one for two, this one for three, this one for nothing, this one for nothing, this one for nothing. Ooh, kind of got lucky they couldn't just do everything he wanted. So he's, he's getting five points. Well, I guess it's kind of negated. He was getting other points in other places. He didn't go link crazy, but him developing, getting those three points here and there, and then the bonus four over here. So now we're looking at all the buildings. So I look at mine, just kind of going down this track. So I have three plus one plus four plus five plus three plus five. So I got 21 points on buildings plus my 28 points. So I'm currently sitting at 49. Now for the AI, let's 
Let's see, where's all the flip ones? He's got a five pointer, five pointer, five, and a four. So he's got 19 on buildings plus his current 18. So he's at 37. So right now I'm sitting at 49 versus his 37. Now I'm going to take out any level one buildings that are still out because that is absolutely, I'm glad he never flipped that over because I would have easily put him right behind me. That's gone. My building's gone. My brewery. I need to make so many connections again. That one's out. Level one, where are you? You're out. This brewery's out. Whoops. Well, he definitely set up better than I did. <laughs> I only have a building in Birmingham. So I guess, I mean, it's not the worst thing. I'm going to refill the beer where the merchants are at. But, um... Yeah, so unless I have a city card, I'm just branching out from Birmingham. At least I got some income going with 10 each round. Hopefully I can get it higher. So for setup, I need to reshuffle all the possible cards that I can draw and then make a deck of 20 because that will represent my 10 turns. And then I have to redo the Automa's deck. And there's a certain way you build this deck. Yeah, he has weight. Even though I'm, I have him on points right now. Huh. Okay, I don't know why this was like this. When did he build on Burden on Trent? Okay, so this one should. I just forgot to put the call up here. It says he's not. Connected to the market, he wouldn't be able to remove them. But he's got um, a little bit of everything on the board. Maybe I'll just go Birmingham crazy. Maybe not. I don't know. Because I already have two links on Birmingham, so maybe I just try to steal every single one of those links around it and just load up in there. Okay, so make my deck of 20. So there's five. Two, three, four, five. Another five. and 20. Last thing I need to do is make the Matoma deck again. So there's an A, B, and C deck. In the beginning of the game, I skipped doing this just to save a little time and jump into the game. But now you have to see it. So I can set up for phase two of this game. So out of the A deck, I'm going to draw four cards. Out of the B deck, there's only four cards, but I'm going to get three out of them. Put those with the other ones I just drew. 
Now out of the C deck, there's a couple more of those, but I'm gonna draw three of those. So one, two, three. So out of the ones I drew, I'm gonna give these a quick shuffle. Now I grab one from each pile, so 1A, one 1B, one 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 C. Give those a quick shuffle, and I'm going to throw those on top of the first set I just shuffled. And now the remaining A plus the remaining two C cards, give those a quick shuffle. Throw those on top, and I'm going to flip these over. And now that's my new Maltoma deck. So as usual, I'm going first. So I'm going to draw my first eight cards. I have Cole Brooksdale, Kanek, Cole Brookdale, Walsall, Ward, Worcester, Worcester, oh. uh, Wolverhampton, Let's see two more cards, Birmingham, and Dudley, so all location cards, I mean I guess that's good because then I can try to get to these spots, I'm starting the round with 26 books, so But now, since all my links are gone, I don't have any connections to Cole. So, I wonder if any of these cities... Oh, okay. Uh, do I have Reddit? No. So, Birmingham doesn't give me coal. Walsall, where are you? There's no coal mine there. Dudley has a coal mine. I could take that spot and make that my source. Okay, so let me start out with Dudley. I'm going to spend seven bucks. Put a coal mine there. That gets three cubes that stay on there because it's not connected to anywhere to sell them. Now for my second action. And I start linking up. Colebrook still, what can I build over there? My own iron. Okay, well first I'm gonna use one of the Colebrook Dill. Ooh, man. Let me see. Alright. I'm gonna use one of these for five to build a link. So now, since we're in the rail era, it costs five for each link and I have to spend a coal with it. So I'm going to start off. Going down, uh, I could just benefit off his points. So I go there, and now use my own coal. Now draw to Stafford and Birmingham again. All right, I'm getting all the Birmingham cards. Matoma. First, let me look if the was it a um, iron is one or more it's actually at zero because he has one cube over here so that won't work it has to be at least a one plus so now let's look at the next one for redditch which where is redditch i don't know okay so that's right there 
no buildings there. He wants to build a manufacturer industry there. So he's got a level two. Just pop it right on there. He does have to use one iron, which he has his own. So of course he'll use that and then flip it. So that's his first action. For his second action, he would try to sell it, but he's not connected. Um, it's not because of beer. It's because he actually is just one link away from the trader who will buy it. So he's going to build a link there. And because now links cost iron, he's going to, since he's connected here now, he's going to take one from the market. So those are his two actions. That was a good move, AI. Good move. I don't, I don't like that you do good moves. So now my income is 10. I'm going to take those 10. Back to my turn. Hmm. I'm thinking if I should use this beer to do a double rail link. I just might. Okay, so. This uh, War. Worcester. Or. Uh, what did I just get? Stafford is way up there. All right, let me use a Stafford card. I'm gonna do this double rail link. So that costs 15. And for each one, I have to put, use up the coal. And then at the end, I have to use up a, a beer too. So the first one I'm gonna do is this one. And I can come back to my own coal here. And then for number two, I'm gonna go here because I need his beer. So I use my own coal again, and then use his beer. So that's going to flip his. Income doesn't matter. He is going to get points off it at the end of the game, but I'm also getting two points from it from the link also. So not the worst thing. And I flip over my coal mine. That gives me a seven money increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now my income is 12. So that was one move. I have nine bucks what to do uh four five six seven so i'm actually gonna use one of my birmingham cards so for five for the link and then two more for the coal in the market i'm gonna connect this so I use this guy and that'll be it so now so draw two so I get Tamworth and Birmingham again so there's three Birmingham cards and I got them all Works out for me. Not that he cares about the cards. Matoma. Iron is less than two, so he's not going to do this. It's at one. So now let's see if he wants to be able to coal mine. And first look at Wolverhampton, which is right here. And now in the second phase, he can build. We can both build as many buildings in each city as we want. It's not restricted, just one. But that spot is available for the coal mine. And then it says you'll try to build uh, two links also. So let's see. He has a level three coal mine that he'll put here. He does have to use one iron, so that'll come from the market. Four coal would go on there. 
But since he's linked to the market, it'll all go over there, and this will flip. I mean, he got three points from it, but so did I, just with my links. Um, and then it says he wants to he wants to network off of it too. And there's only actually one spot to do that from. So he's going to take this. Because I already have all the other ones. So that means he only has to use one coal. Alright, so this money goes away. My income is at 12. Okay. It's like every time it's my turn, I just completely forget if I even had a plan or not. I'm linking a bunch of stuff up. Uh, I think I was going to do a Colbrook still to either build. It'd be nice to have my own iron. Okay, so Cobrook's Dell spend seven to put this, or I mean, to my own coal, what am I saying? Um, to put that there, it takes three coal, but the market has space for one, so it'll go over here and I'll gain one dollar, one buck, one Libre. So one action. Now I don't have beer access to do a lot on the money either for a double rail build. What I will do is Wolverine is already all taken up, so I'll put that card down. Spend five for a link and go down. This way, use my own coal there, and that's that. Maybe I can get down to this brewery here and draw the right card, which I just did. Sweet. Beer card and pottery card. AI Matoma. Where is Tamworth? Right there. So he wants to build... Uh, yeah, he can build a was it the cotton mill, and if he needs to make a link to make it happen, he'll do that. Which he actually has his own uh, coal mine there, so these are gonna be his two actions. So he's gonna build that one there, and he has to make this link, which he needs one coal for the link and then another coal for the building itself so he just took off two of them good move sir all right my money goes away my income is at 12 so really i just get it right back so i have 10 15 to play with right now I can build one more link and then I can build that brewery there. And I'll give him more income because I can flip this guy over. So I'm going to use the pottery. Spend five. Build this link. Which will use this coal. That'll flip that and give me seven income. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I'm at 15. And then how much... Oh, I can't do the level one breweries. I need to develop. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do Canucks. I'm going to develop two levels because why not? So the first one's going to be a one dollar. Second one's going to be two dollars. So I have to do the 
take out that level one brewery and hmm. what else do I want to vote that's it would be that that goes there uh maybe this iron works that way I would be a level three All right, those are my two actions. I'm gonna draw two cards. I have a coal mine and a brewery, another beer, beer garden. Hmm. Matoma's turn. The price of iron is two, so this won't trigger. He's looking for three plus to build an ironworks. So now we look at the next one um, for a manufacturing plant. Let's see, he's looking at Nuneaton, which is clear. And he can make a link to get the coal for it. Oh no, he can't he can do all of it. Because he doesn't have enough. If this would have two coal on it, he'd be able to make that link and because he needs to use a coal for the link and then a coal for the, the building itself. But since it only has one, he can't do these two actions to complete it. So now he's going to look at the bottom and see, just build a, his network. So he doesn't have his own beer, so he's just going to end up putting a one on the board. It's just a matter of where. So for these, you always look to see if this city is part of his network or not. So Naniton is not. Is Redditch? Redditch is. What was I looking for? Why was I looking? Okay, I was looking at Nita, but then I didn't even look at Redditch, but he already has one on there, so he can't do that anyways. Um. But he is going to. Build one of his links on Redditch as his first action. He has two options, so let me double check with the tiebreakers. Link to a city that is already part of the Automa's network. Can't do that. Link to a city with the most built industry tiles, which is Birmingham. Whoa. Oops. Now he needs a coal to do that, which is going to come from the market. So now his second action. He's finally going to sell, and he can sell this uh, manufacturer one to this spot here. He doesn't care about that bonus. He doesn't develop. He just cares about the victory points, but he does flip that over. So we get points. Uh, I think I covered it up. So we flip that one over to there. Take the barrel away to do it. So now back to my turn. So my income is 15 now. Okay. Now can I build the brewery please? Or should I build that? Okay, actually, let me see here. I'm gonna build this, use this Birmingham card. And for, it's gonna be 10 total because for nine for the level three ironworks, and then I have to use one coal from the tray or from the market it's gonna be 10 total. Let me take that one off. Put this ironworks in Birmingham here. So that one takes five iron. But three of those will be going to the market. So I get two, three, four dollars. Uh, 
And then my second action. Okay, I was going to build that brewery. I need to do that before I forget. So, brewery is going to be five, six, seven there. It's a level two going out to this farm out here. Since we're in the second era, that gets two beers. And I'm going to use one of my own irons. So now I'm one away from flipping that one. Ooh, I really need to start linking up to Birmingham. Which is going to be bad if I don't. I'm just wasting points. Mm, okay, that was my two actions. Draw back up. Uh, Nun Eaton and Kinderminster. The AI, what are you doing? He's looking at Kinderminster. And... If he needs to build a link to get it where you can trade over there, he will. Which. Oh, it's more of the link for the coal. Sorry. So he actually does need the link because he can go to the market already. But he will. He has a level three building available. Going to Kinderminster. And so the cost of that one is the level three is 16 bucks, but that doesn't matter. One coal, one iron. So the coal, he can't reach his own, so he has to take it from the market. But he does use my iron because that one's on the board. So that flips this over for me, giving me two monies. My income is still the same though, but thank you for the points. Now for his second action. He will sell and he, he has two buildings that, oh, he's linked to, no, he's not linked to my beer, that's mine. Uh, he has two buildings that he could sell. He has a cotton mill there and his new cotton mill there. Now, neither are linked to where he needs to sell them, which is down here. Oh, no, 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 he can sell, so one is linked, because he can sell to the wild one over here. So that's what he's going to do. And there's a beer there, which he can use, so that's going to be a second action of selling. So he flips that one over, using my links, he uses that beer barrel, and he gets the four-point bonus from the merchant. One, two, three, four. Boom. All right, so this money goes away, and my income's at 15, so one, two, three. All right, it's time to make my connections here, because I'm losing out on points if I let him do it. I'm going to play... So Kindermeister, Nanitin. Let's do Tamworth. So I'll spend fifteen. For two links. So for this one, I need to spend, yeah, there's no uh, coal out. So I built coal first, coal's eight, really nine. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, nine. Um, Okay, let me back up just a hair. So I can 
build this coal mine in, in uh, Colebrooksdale. No, no, it's Ironworks. What am I talking about? And Kindermeister. Uh, Kinderminster. Um, so I have a level three here. That one costs eight. So there's five, six, seven. Oh, I'm gonna, did I miscalculate it? Oh, wait, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have to use one iron, which is from the market, which is going to be a dollar. So that gives it four coal, which three of it will go to the market. So that gives me four dollars from the market for selling it. And then. Um, my double link, so yeah, play that wall saw for 15. So for the first one, I'll put here, and I can use my, I use my own coal, so I'll flip that. It's six going up here, so one, two, three, one, two, three, so that's 17 income. Now for the second one, I do have to spend a dollar to go over here. And that link will go, what would work best? Probably this one. It's already got five points established there. And I have to spend one beer barrel, which I have one over here. Okay, so now I'll draw two, burn it on Trent, and Dudley. So that's all, the draw pile's gone, so I only have four more rounds to maximize my points. Yeah, he's not worried about it, though. He's trying to take the farms, and if he just has to make a link to get it, he will, which he actually can. So... His two actions is going to be, so I already have the south one. He's going to take the north one. Since this is part of his network, he can just build this one, this link. Um, he has to take it from the market. And then for the actual brewery, put that out there. And he gets two barrels. And he has to use one iron, which has to come from the market. So that was his two actions, just off one card pretty quick seems like he's gearing up to sell something maybe oh man okay uh, my income is 17 now so 15 16 17 let's see I need I just need everything. I need to make Birmingham better. Or I need to do it. I need to do it all. I need more iron. Whoops, so I need to get rid of this stuff. If I do a double railway, that'll be 15. I don't have the iron, so it'd be two each, or the coal, I mean. So I have the money, and then I have the beer. So let me do that. Let me spend Dudley, so it sounds that city's already taken up. I already calculated everything. Using these two iron and my beer over here. So this will flip. That gives me five income. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at 19 now. So my two links I'm going to put out. I want to go out to Oxford here. 
and what will give me points, points, points? Oh, I could actually steal his beer if he doesn't use it fast enough. Interesting. And I'll go up here in case he flips that one. I mean, I kind of made the link for him. So I don't know if that was the best thing. I'll give him five points. Mm. You know what? I'll, I'll go over here. Maybe I'll end up taking all of them eventually, but we'll see. So I only have a dollar left, so that's not enough to do anything. Do I take out one last loan just to make sure I can do all my big moves? I think I might. I think I might. Oh, man. Uh, I can put beer at Burn on Trench. Oh, but I'm not linked to it. Using me. Tamworth. Where's Tamworth? Where are you? I want to see. Oh, right there. Okay, I'm going to spend Tamworth. I'm going to take a loan. So one, two, three. I'm going to take 30. So 20 or 10. 20. So 5, 10. All right, so no more cards to draw. I need to make the most out of these last three rounds. I have no idea how I'm doing, but I feel like it's going to be rough. Matoma. Iron is not at 4 plus, it is at 2 plus, so this won't trigger. At Naniton, he wants to build the brewery. Super duper. So he goes there. Let's spend one iron, that'll come from the market. And two beers going. So he just took my plan, he took my idea. And I don't like it. So that's only one of his actions. Action number two. He has one building that he could sell, which is here in Tamworth. And, but he doesn't have the connection yet. So since he's one link away, then that's what his action is going to be. So he's pretty much setting, setting himself up. So he just needs to connect. Well, let's see, there's some tiebreakers. Because if he connects here, that'll connect him there. Same with there. So let's see. Oh, okay. Um, so the first thing he's gonna link to a city that he's that's already part of his network, which now is that one. So that makes it easy. But now he's getting ready to sell that building. He's all set up. And my turn. Put this money away. Now my income is sixteen. All right, so I, I've got lots of money to hopefully do whatever it is I need to do to win. Um, I don't have an iron card. And I shouldn't have gotten rid of wall saw before. I don't recall. Well, now for Nunnington, maybe I can build the this little three here, level three coal mine. All right, let's see. So for Nunnington, I'm gonna spend. Uh, what am I looking at? Five, six, seven eight and there's no iron on the board 
So at the market, it costs two more to use that. Go here. So that gives me four, but it's all going to go to the market, which means that coal mine immediately flips. So from the market, I'm getting two, four, five, six bucks. And then my income goes up six steps. So three, six. And my second action. Ah, oh man, I guess I'm just going to have to use this beer. I don't know where. Uh, Take the beer spot I was thinking about. Well, I can do a burn on train actually now. Okay, so yeah, burn on Trent. So my level two costs seven dollars. Ooh, man, plus three more for this level two. So that puts two beer on there and one for the market. All right, Matoma. Oh no, he's looking at Birmingham. I mean, he's gonna help me get points, but whatever. I don't like. I don't want him doing stuff. Um. So no links required. He can get to whatever he needs to, but yeah, he's gonna put his level five building out. Right here in Birmingham. It costs one coal, which he can take from his own. And he ends up flipping that. Luckily, that's only a two pointer. Sat down for like the whole game. Um, so that was one action. So now he's selling. And he might be able to. I think he can sell. He's going to sell two buildings. He's going to sell this manufacturer one he just got, and then the cotton mill that he's had for a while. So, first, I guess we'll just go from top down. So, the cotton mill, he'll flip that, and he can go all the way to the guy down here and use his beer. And then this one... He'll flip that and use two of his own beer. So he'll just now I'm gonna just play smart for the AI and assume he wants the bigger points. Well, shoot. If I don't think there's like a tiebreaker in this for, let's see. Uh, for all relevant buildings, count the number of Automa links connecting to them. So that one has one, that one has one. Then subtract the number of the player links, which is zero and one over here. The Automa sells from the building with the highest score. All right, guys, so I'm taking it as, I don't know if it's as uh, taking the two beers over here. So he flips that. So that was his second action. Okay. So now I can get rid of this stuff, get rid of these cards. My income is 18, so 15, 16, 17, 18. Two more rounds. Oh, man. I mean, I kind of have to use this beer. Oh, that level four iron works. Okay, where can I build it? Worcester, no. Kindermeister, no. Birmingham, no. The beer barrel, no. Do I take 
a wild card. Oh god. Um, all right. So these three need to get these two. Uh, oh man. Okay. I'm just. I like barely have a plan, but you know, let's just roll with it. So I can build. Use a wild industrial card. Twelve bucks. And then there's no coal on the board, so I'd spend one more for the market. To put this level four ironworks there. So that one gets six cubes total. But the market is five cubes short. So I'm gonna get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine monies. And then that's it for me, so. Matoma. First looking at Warchester. Warchester is down here. And he doesn't need to link it all up because we have so many links out. So he's able to put his level 3 building out. He has to take one coal from the market. Oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't get my coal. So then the other one's his coal. And he does have to use one uh, iron, which I do have one. Thank you, sir. Flip that over for me. Ooh, my money goes up a whopping one. But I'm gonna get those points now for his second action it looks like he's just gonna sell it as usual good move build and sell build and sell makes sense so it's gonna cost one beer barrel you can trace it all the way back to the seller over here so he uses one of his beers Okay, the wild goes back here, those go away. So last round, I have Birmingham and a wild location. How to make the most use of this? Oh, man, like double link? I think that might be it. Just double link it and use his beer barrel. Maybe he can't sell um, to flip over stuff. I have my beer also. Okay. Um, so. I use Birmingham. I'll spend 15. One, two. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, 15. There's no coal on the board. So I need to use two each. So that's four more. Do these two coal? And I'll use my own beer. Ooh, man. I have two more links after this. So I'm going to take this guy here and yeah, five. So this will be a six pointer here. When you go to Birmingham, you come through me. I mean, he does have one, but from Redditch. He's got the short route. All right. My last action with the wild location card. I don't know. Let's see. What's the best way to use it? Man.
Not really sure, I feel like. Um, I don't know. Maybe he'll just uh, end up using it and helping me out. But my level four coal mine will cost ten. Plus one more for the iron. So I can build this anywhere because it's a wild location. The best if I can do it. Yeah, so I can do it here. So it produces five, but only one's going to go there and the other four go to the market since it is connected. So I'm going to get two, four, five, six bucks. That's my last move. I need to do one more for him. I'm just moving this out of the way. But we don't. There is no last round income phase. But let me just do his last turn real quick. Colebrookdale. So Cole Brickdale is already all taken up. Then he's gonna look at Burden, which is I don't know where you are. Uh, I'm just completely missing it. Oh, Burn on Trent. So that's up here. That was completely taken. So he can't do that one. So now he wants to build links too. If he can. First coming out of Cole Brickdale, I've already taken all. Three around it. Then he's looking on burden on Trent. He is able to do it. Ooh, and he gets to use my my coal from the board. It worked. He's gonna use his beer though. Unless he sells something too. I don't know if he can. I can't look at the board that quick. But first, let's worry about the two tracks. All right. So I gotta look at tiebreakers again. So. Um, so coming out of Burden on Trent up here, he already has a bottom one, so there's three options up here. Um, in a city that is already part of Autumn's network, so Canic is part of his network, so he's definitely taking that one because he has those tracks over there. Now, the second one. The other two, I don't think it's really going to matter. This one has the most free spaces going up to Derby. So he uses one coal from me, one from the market. So that'll flip over that guy. Give me five money. One, two, three, four, five. And he's going to use his own beer. That would have been nice if he didn't have that one. Ooh, that's some link, so that helps me out too. All right, that's everything. Now I just have to score up. So I'm going to remove these player boards out of the way. Just have some space to get everything. these cards out of the way where's my phone because I need I need my calculator all right first is links so I'll go from last place to first place player um, so he is currently in last because we're starting he's at 41 I'm at 49 so I'll just start with him so this one is two. Right here is three. This one right here is two. This one is one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, three. And I believe that's all his. Oh, no, he has one more up here. So plus one. 
So he got 25 points off Lynx. Plus his 41. We're looking at 66. All right, so I should definitely have him on Lynx. The building is going to be a little crazy. All right, so my Lynx. One, two, three, four, five. Plus three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So everything out of Birmingham is at five and then plus whatever. So five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Five, six. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven. And I believe that's all my links. So I got 70 in links plus my 49. So already I'm at 119. Now buildings. Uh, first, let me just get any out of the way that never flipped like that guy just to not worry about it. And everything else looks flipped. So just to make it easier to get through them all, since the game is over, I can just take them off the board and organize them a little bit better so I can count them up. And then the rest are all his. He seems to have a lot of buildings, but we'll see if it's enough. So again, he's last, so I'll count up his first. Let me see if I can group them together real quick because that's 10, 10, 30, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, is 66 so we got 141 all right for myself so let's see that's 10 20 uh, let's see so 20 plus Four plus two plus five plus nine. So I got forty points plus my one nineteen one fifty nine. Man, that was uh so my first game that was a good game. I really liked the Automa. It slowed down a little bit just because I would try to explain what I'm looking at. Um but actually, it's pretty good. Some of the moves, I'm surprised how it's able to. <laughs> it's like it's like it just planned it all. Use it up here, here, one of its own little irons there. Like it'll send it all up the whole time, just to give itself more points. So now that I've beat it on medium, so yeah, that was my second play with this Matoma, Matoma, Matoma probably. I played on easy. What was my score on that one? Yeah, so I played easy. I got 173 to 128. That was a huge spread. And then now I played it on medium. Still won. So we got 141. I got 159. So he's closing the gap. But I'm still 2 0 for the Automa. But now that means the next time, time to play on hard mode. And yeah, we'll see how much of a challenge that is. Because if 
if it's getting this closer in gap and then if hard mode can even get it tighter then that would be really fun just playing hard mode all the time but so far really enjoying this game definitely recommend the Matoma I know there's other AIs like George Eliza and like two or three other ones but all I kept hearing was Matoma's a lot of people's favorites so I just jumped into that one and so far I really like it um, but yeah thank you for joining me hopefully you enjoyed watching and if you were learning about the Matoma you it made sense what how it works I know I didn't really get into like rules and things like that but at least you, you might get the flow of it but thanks for coming by we'll see what game I play next time and you guys have a good day thanks